Hi and welcome to this hands-on review of Rangi for Daydream VR. Hello again and thanks for watching. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider subscribing. So today I'm going to take a look at Rangi, which is new on the Daydream Play Store and which you can get for 5 euro and 99 cents and should be around the same in US dollars. Rangi had been very successful on Gear VR and this is the port for Daydream. So let's check this out together. I had played this before for like 5 minutes, but then my connection to Chromecast broke. So that's why I have to reset now and start it all over here. Rangi is a puzzle adventure with very high production values. That much I can tell you already. So here's what the description says about Rangi on Daydream VR. Solve complex puzzles, explore hidden temples, escape deadly platforms and revel in the joy of flight as you restore the music key's stolen rhythms. Inspired by tribal music, art and architecture from across the African continent, Rangi is challenging yet comfortable to play. Alright, cool, I can't wait. So let's get into it. Let me skip that intro. I don't think you would like to see all of that. I think you prefer to have me play the game for 10 minutes as I normally do in these hands-on reviews if I don't get sucked into them much longer. Good, so let's start with the very first level in which they should teach us how to play Rangi for Daydream VR. When I played this for the very first time, I got stuck here because I didn't know that I have to turn and I was not sitting on the swivel chair. But anyways, now I know in the very first scene you have to turn. And then you end up on this arm of this giant who will bring you to the first platform. And I can tell you now, it's a very interesting feeling. This guy is carrying me to this stone platform and it feels very interesting here in VR. You move around by teleporting yourself to dedicated locations and you can teleport quicker by clicking the touchpad. And you reach the end of the level when you see that blue location to teleport to. So for example now I get into the next level. And between levels you have this interesting spaces around the campfire. It's very well done. So that's why I said before the production values of this one are quite high. So here now I should hold the touchpad and aim at the block to drag it around. So yes, here's what I can do. I can drag stuff around, dedicated stuff, not everything, but certain things I can drag around by holding the touchpad and by therefore dragging it around. So for example here I will drag this away and then I can go to the next, um, how would I call it, um, teleportation point probably. Okay, here again I can only teleport to those um, dedicated spaces. I will aim at them and then simply um, click the touchpad. So very straightforward here, open the door, go to the next location. And here what I do, oh I collected an artifact. So let me go back. Sorry about the graphics. It's not the game that looks so blocky. It is unfortunately my Wi-Fi connection, which in these recent days is not so great. So I have to check out what's the problem here. Anyways, the game looks really, really good in VR. So if you notice any graphical problems, then this is my fault and not the game's fault. Just to make this very clear. So far it's about opening doors and teleporting yourself to those teleport points and I'm pretty sure that the difficulty level is gonna pick up soon but what I can tell you is that everything works as expected. I like the environment, I like the music. It gives you a very comfortable feeling and well as I mentioned before the production values are high with this one. One more teleportation and I should be finished with this level pretty soon. So let's 
check this out. And oh, I still have to go places. Okay, so I still have to open this and go into the building again. And here, I still have some doors to open. Yep. Yeah, it's still some kind of tutorial level where they simply teach you how everything works. But here now, this level is finished. So, Rangi, this game has actually made it to several best of lists for Gear VR. If you do a Google search on Rangi and Gear VR, you will find several times that this game is included in some best of lists and got very, very good reviews. So, I'm very much looking forward to try out the whole game actually, because I can tell you now already, at this early six minutes mark, that the 10 minutes of this hands on review will not be enough in order to check out the game. So I will definitely play this through and give it a whole full review on Daydream District. So in this level, we're being introduced to some new gameplay mechanics. And well, how would I call this? Well, there are some kind of lifelines here or probably could be some electronic current. However, you can tell by this glowing line and you have to make sure that this glowing line can flow until the end or at least until the door that will open up for the next level here here this door that will open up for the next level okay so this is an interesting gameplay mechanics which which is introduced here and surely this is also going to become a bit more complex and a bit more complicated in later levels most probably already starting with this very next level. Let's see what we have to do here. So, hopefully this loads and here we are. And yes, again, we have those lines here. And this time I have to step up here, go up a bit. Yep, this time it's, it's much more complex than in the level before. And here, here's the beginning. This time it's a yellow line. And let me simply move that block over here to get the juices flowing, I would say. And yeah, so I simply have to move the blocks in order to have this... How should I call it? Let's, let's call it energy juice <laughs> to have this energy juice flowing to the to the door and these blocks i can move them not only in one direction but as you've just seen i can move them in several directions so this should make up for some very very interesting puzzles down the line i mean now it's it's still very simple right i st I'm, I'm only moving these blocks and um, yeah, it's, it's still very straightforward, but again, this, these are still the very first levels of this game. I'm now at the 8 minutes mark, 8 minutes and 35 seconds, so it's still very, very, very early in the game. They're still just setting us up for more exciting and more complicated puzzles to come there. For this level, I should be finished pretty soon, actually. So the red energy juice is also flowing now and indeed the door opens and I can go to the next level. So here we are in the next level and in this level we're definitely going to reach the 10 minutes mark and I know already I have to play this game much much longer. It seems to be a great game and my first impression of this game is wow it's a really cool game and I'm sure there's so many more puzzles to solve and I'm actually excited about playing this much longer than these 10 minutes. So yes, Rangi definitely gets the thumbs up for this first hands-on review. And now I would love to know from you, what do you think of Rangi according to the very first 10 minutes of this game that you have just seen here? 
Do you think it's interesting? Would you like to pick it up? Simply leave any comments in the comment section below. So for me, I really want to play this game much longer, which is normally a very good indicator that we're dealing with a good game here. And that's it already for this hands-on review of Rangi for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not subscribed to Daydream District yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.